this is the first thing that Conrail tried to do to obliterate the Penn Central. Nobody's really fooled. Second engine, of course, still with a PC and Penn Central on the side. Two SD38s. Um, SD38s the whole time they existed were generally uh, heavy ball locomotives, hump locomotives. Uh, they survived from PC into Conrail. Only since CSX took over, SD40s really started replacing them as hump locomotives everywhere around. Uh, Century 424 or 425. Another Alco Century trailer. Uh, TC was also the last real passenger railroad, I guess you could say. Um, TC was created in 68, 14 mm -hmm. pushes in the New Haven in 69, and Amtrak didn't come around until 71. So here we have a Penn Central passenger train, God knows where. Ohio. Um, and once people made fun of them enough, they decided to order out a little bit of color or paint scheme, so they came up with a red P. That was about as as inventive as Penn Central ever got. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen the red red I haven't seen I can't was the red team, but I'm saying. So this is an EMPG 35. Uh, this would be somewhere in Jersey. I still haven't quite figured it out, but definitely in uh, post-76. For Penn Central G38, a Valley 7 or 9, another Penn Central G38. Conrail, Jeep 9, Jeep 7, at that point it might have been a Paducah rebuild, 8 or 10, and this engine would be a former Penn Central Jeep 30. Hmm. A little bit more uh, whack job power on Conrail, uh, Jeep 38, and it looks like a, is that what it is? This seems to be a surface train. Uh, Conrail U23B, most likely a former valley, and another former valley. Notice the caboose is head out in front of the circus train, so they might have been shutting it off. 